Yeah, not bad. Um, you know, Zach Austin is probably the most consistent of all of them. Uh, really proud of the way he played. Um, played really fast the whole game, blocked well, actually. Um, and the other guys were up and down. You know, Giles got a ton of reps. He was up and down, made some mistakes. We've got to get corrected. Same thing with Tony. Tony had some really good plays and then some really bad plays. So uh, just the, the more they can play, you know, it's, it was great experience for them moving forward. Um, you know, that, that's as fast of a team as we'll play. And so uh, it's good for them to see that speed on that stage, you know, in, in a place like Jerry's World. So um, hopefully it'll benefit them. And, uh, but we need, it. we need to get those other guys back too. What about Devin? Chance he'll be back Saturday? Yeah, yeah, hopefully we'll get Devin back. So uh, day to day and we'll, we'll see how he, he responds this week. But uh, he, he's a kid that we need. You know, he's a kid that's averaging, I think, over 20 yards a catch. So uh, he, he's got that big play factor. So, but uh, really happy with the way those young guys came in and competed for us. You guys didn't run the ball real well. Does that have to do more with the talent of their front or not blocking well, just kind of what was the defense? Yeah, I thought they beat us up front. Yeah, no doubt. Um, and went to it and then and then got down kind of in a hurry there, which which causes you sometimes, you know, as a play caller to uh, to probably not run the ball as much as we should have and just stick to your guns and, and try to get some different stuff, what they were doing schematically. You know, they slanted the front a ton and um, and had some success with it. And uh, then, you know, after, after DeAndre's fumble, we kind of, got away from it and that was kind of a spot in the game where they scored pretty fast on on their first five possessions and you know we were kind of playing from behind there early but uh, you know I thought it was good when we, we came out they scored in a hurry and then we marched down and scored on them and then uh, you know going back and forth Jakeem had a big drop that he can't afford that's a touchdown if he catches that ball and so um, some some stuff that uh, that definitely wasn't great on our part execution wise. There was this one screen pass that you guys played I, I don't know which part it was in but it was like front the, the line on the left side just stayed in their down position yeah way past the snap is that the way it's designed yeah it's called freeze so um yeah no doubt so we designed that way we, we had five guys out in front of for two guys and we got a holding call so it worked perfectly how we envisioned it and uh we just didn't execute it but uh but yeah that was a design play what do you see when you look at the yeah, they're a team that that's better than they were last year. Um, you know, they they got some guys back on the back end. Um, their defensive line's better than last year. Uh, when we played them, they were kind of banged up last year, and so um, we'll have to be better up front than what we were. You know, we're not going to just be able to move them. They do some stuff schematically too to try to take away the inside running game, and so um, something that we'll we'll have to uh, get some movement up front on some double teams. And, uh, and, and, you know, a little bit different scheme than we've seen. It's a, a total three down front 100% um, of the time, which we haven't seen one yet this year. And so uh, we'll do some different things, but, uh, but we just got to play fast and execute and, and get back to, you know, just getting completions, first downs, and, and keeping these drives alive. Christy's doing wonderful. How y'all doing? Go ahead. Come on. Give it to me. Be the first one. Let's go. Coach Davis, how do you set benchmarks for your guys in a lopsided affair? Do you make small goals? How do you keep motivated and keep playing hard? Good question. Um, I'm going to give my generic answer. We're going to go back to the basics, the fundamentals, techniques, and try to get better and practice every day. Um, obviously, disappointing. Um, they're really good, and we're not very good. So, bad combination when you, uh, when you go play that team. But uh, we didn't play very good. Um, I've been saying that a lot this year. Um, at some point, we got to grow up and start playing good on, on game day. Because um, you can practice good. You can do all those fancy drills you want to. But if you don't put it on game film, it doesn't matter. So um, I, these kids are amazing. You know, they've been through a lot throughout their careers. And they continue to come to work every day and try to get better. And, and uh, you know, I, I'm, I wish I could help them. I'm trying my dangest, and uh, we'll just keep grinding and, and keep working. There's a difference between trying hard and trying soft. Do you think they tried too hard and got in their own way? No, I don't. I, I, I don't. I mean, I think they uh, just, it, you know, it, it's overwhelming when, you, when, you, uh, when you're playing a, a run defense on the first third down of the game and they hand the ball off and nobody touches a guy for, for 80 yards. Um, there's no excuse because you're you're gapped out and and uh, just is what it is. I, I wish I had a, a reason why, but um, you know they practice hard, they play hard, 
Um, I didn't, they didn't quit, which, um, you know, it, it would have been easy for them to do. Uh, there were times during the game when you probably, watching the game, you probably felt like they quit, but they didn't. I mean, even even the end of the game, uh, they're playing their butts off. So we got to get better, and, and uh, obviously uh, we got we to gotta do it fast. How do you change it? We're working right now. I, I don't know. I shoot. You know, um, we didn't go crazy. We didn't go blitz crazy like like uh, human nature wants you to. Like even the head coach wants you to when you get in those games and it's frustrating and everybody just go blitz, go blitz, go blitz. We did not. Um, maybe we should have. I don't know. But at least at least throughout the seventy some odd plays, we can watch them and those eleven guys can know what they did right, know what they did wrong, and 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 you can move on and learn from those from those reps. They're valuable reps. Um, when you're trying to build a defense, you know, uh, you know, just keep grinding. That's all I know to do. It's football. It's not that hard. You you get off blocks. You make tackles. You cover the guy you're supposed to cover. Um, but obviously, we make it hard. You know, we did at times. We we just we just uh, you know that two of their two of their touchdown passes were on second and one was second eleven, one was second and thirteen, um, and I I called man coverage because I thought it was a play action pass and it was on both of them and both times we didn't cover the guy. 